node port or load balancer here is when to use it so node port is your deployment hero it exposes your service on any port between 30k to 32k across all cluster nodes it's perfect for local development and testing environments and when we uh, use the demo i will create one simple deployment field create deployment application specify the image name ngnx okay now the application was created so when we say it is uh, especially for development testing and on premise clusters so check if it is working or not get deploy there is a command issue get deploy so it is running now we will try to expose this service using the kubectl expose so specify the deployment application what is the deployment name we are providing and type is equal to node port specify the port equal to 80 so that means the service was exposed <coughs> in the port okay so coming to load balancer so load balancer is a production powerhouse it creates the external ip through the, your cloud provider like aws gcp or azure automatically handle the traffic routing and scaling so visually when we use this uh, we can say kubectl expose deployment i'm using the same uh, application for load balancer also specify the load balancer load balancer port equal to 80 error from server because the server is already a uh, service is already exist so it is giving the error so you can use the some other uh, service name so that is the quick and compare addition time at is the node port is free and manual ip development and testing only load balancer is cloud cast and optimized for uh, based on the cloud provider and auto ip address will be and the production ready so for more uh, kubernetes tips follow code with chandra for kubernetes networking tips and here is the simple uh, breakdown i will show you this is the complete overview node port and the use cases with the demo and a load balancer use case with a demo and a quick comparison so don't forget to subscribe if